Alrighty, in this video we're going to go over the disassembly of the Remington Model 591M rifle. Uh, this series was made between 1968 and 1972. This is a 72 model. Um, it was chambered in 5mm Remington Magnum rimfire. It wasn't a very popular caliber. They only came out with two rifles, the 591, which is a box-fed magazine, and the 592, which was the same rifle, but just with a tube-fed magazine. Uh, they discontinued them real quick. The uh, caliber never caught on. It was a bottleneck rimfire round that was uh, shot a 20 caliber bullet uh, at much higher speeds and much higher velocities than uh, the 22 and 22 Magnum, but it just never caught on. Same idea as the 17 calibers today. Uh, something interesting about this is Aguila, a Mexican company, is actually making uh, ammunition for this caliber in the last couple of years. So uh, all the rifles in this caliber have actually gone up in a, quite a bit in value over the last couple of years, considering you couldn't find ammo for decades. All right, first thing we do in handling a firearm is we check to make sure it's unloaded. So the first thing we're going to do is open the bolt. We can see that there's no cartridge in the chamber there. We're going to go ahead and take out the magazine. To do that, we're going to go ahead and push down on this little lever here. And at the same time we're pushing down, we're going to lift the magazine out. We can see it's empty. We'll go ahead and set it aside for the moment. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the bolt. Now, to remove the bolt, we're going to take the safety lever here. We're going to move it forward to fire, and then we're going to hold it forward. While holding forward, we're going to take the bolt and just pull it straight out the back. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside for a second. And now we've got just the barrel uh, receiver on the stock. Uh, you can go ahead and take your bore snake, your cleaning rods, whatever. Go ahead and clean down the barrel, get all the gun uh, powder out of there. If you want to, you can take off the stock. There's only one screw holding the stock to the action. It's right here in front of the magazine well. Go ahead and take your flathead screwdriver. Unscrew that, just enough to loosen it, there's no reason to really pull it out. And you can go ahead and lift the stock right off the action receiver. Alright, we'll go ahead and set the stock aside for now. And now we've got just the trigger action, uh, the bolt, the magazine, thing, bobbers, and whatnot. And you can clean all that silliness up. 